Queen Mary II arrives at Gibraltar. It's the first time that the biggest ocean liner in the world, last heir of the Cunard dynasty, drops anchor here, the last remaining symbol of the British Empire. Amanda is in charge of welcoming the celebrities and VIPs. She is about to greet a throng of people coming aboard to attend the ceremony in honor of this event. There, this one. Alana's office is the first one, then the hotel magistrate. Hello. Hi, go ahead. Hi, can I just take the plaque? Absolutely. Thank you very much. No Marvellous. See you up there then. Yeah, I'll be about 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Meanwhile, Michelle, the housekeeper, is meeting with her team. There's just a few things that I have for you today. Anna, yeah. Ramonette yeah. is, have you told, Ramonette's going on training today with uh, Sheena for butler training this afternoon, so you're going to be on your own. So who else is on duty in Pantry 2 today? Who's in Pantry 2 today? Pantry 2. Uh, Pantry 2. Ryan. 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 Okay, so will you guys, if Anna needs any help this afternoon, will you guys cover for her as well? Okay? Anytime. Thank you very much. This is a traditional um, ceremony when a ship calls into a port for the first time. And of course this is our first time to Gibraltar. So we have a, a plaque exchange, the Commodore with the port officials and um, they'll exchange gifts, plaques in this case. So it should be a nice morning. Pantry inspection yesterday. All right, I'm going to put up the results over here, but basically everything, most stuff was fine. Pantry 2, the soap dispenser could have been filled up a little bit more, okay. Um, there's rust forming again behind that sink next to the, you know where the ice machine is and the fridge and the back on that wall. If we can get, yeah, scrub it down with that blue pad again. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. Amanda arrives at the Commodore Club, located at the bow of the ship. This lounge with a panoramic view is where the ceremony will take place. So we'll place them here so they'll be ready. And actually, I think we'll take them out of the plastic. Oh dear. I'll take the others out when we come back up, actually. That'll be all right. I'll go down and pick up the guests now from the gangway. As the shuttle brings the guests closer to the Queen Mary II, Michelle adjourns the meeting. And then I think that is it. Okay, and then I'm coming around to do more inspections today. <laughs> okay, that's it. Finished. You can go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, it's the garden, right? Yeah, the house garden. Garden, yeah. It's quite a lot. So it's by the side curtain, the one yeah. for decoration. Yeah. What, what I want you to give me a list of how many and which cabins. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll get Albert to come up okay. and replace it's them. Quite because a lot. He's, uh, he has got some stock downstairs. Okay. I write it down and give it to you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Well, you can put it on AVO. On AVO. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any question? No? 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 Okay. No All right. Thank you. The shuttle reaches the gangway. An amazing world lies just behind that tiny door, where dozens of kilometers of passageways extend throughout the depths of the ship. While Amanda joins her guests, Olaf, the head wine steward, proceeds to the wine cellars. Oh, we're here already. Hello, good morning, good morning. Would you like to come this way? If I take the first group up and then... Uh, or do you want to take them up? Morning, welcome. Welcome aboard. No. So, actually that's the idea. Every single morning I come down and actually to get an idea actually what's going on on the ship. Because we have six different restaurants and I need to know exactly actually every single morning what actually we sold yesterday or the day before yesterday to get an idea what kind of wine we still have on the cellar. So there we go. If you'd like to go straight down the corridor, the reception is in the Commodore Club straight ahead. Good morning. Welcome Hi. aboard. Thank you. Welcome. Is that it? Yep. 
Did Olaf come on board? He's just going to see staff captain about something and he's coming up. Oh. Paul, Paul, do you copy? Good morning. Michelle is housekeeper. To ensure the upkeep of the hundreds of cabins of which she is in charge, she disposes of several small strategically placed maintenance rooms, which must be kept perfectly operational. Ten or so decks below her, Olaf continues taking his inventory. What is the difference between the two cellars? The difference is quite easy. This is a white wine and champagne and uh, the other cellar we just have red wines. Different temperatures of course. This, this cellar is in, uh, on 9 degrees and the red wine cellar is on uh, 14 or 15 degrees. Do you know how many bottles do you, do you have on board? Yeah, usually if we have full, full stocked we have about 65,000 bottles. The temperature log for this morning hasn't been done. That normally that must be the first thing that they do when they come on duty. It's come, they must do a temperature reading on the dishwasher over there and then they just check the temperature of the fridge. Because if there's a problem, we need to report it straight away because we've, we use these items every single day. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get hold of the person who should have done the reading this morning just to remind them. Because sometimes if a cabin, because on port days, passengers leave early so then they start their cabins and then they forget that they need to do the temperatures. At the Commodore Club, the cocktail party is in full swing. Should we scoot round the corner? Looks very nice. This we're going to need today. Olaf, this is a trouble for the one when you have rough sea. Uh, not, not really, I would say, because uh, this place is uh, at least five meters under sea level and uh, even if you have really rough weather, it's really steady here. Nothing is really um, shaking or moving a bit. We're just waiting here for the ceremony to be over and then we're going to gather the people and divide them into two groups and Anna, my colleague here, is going to take half the group and I'm going to take half the group on a tour of the ship. I think my group might be a bit delayed because I think they want to interview the Commodore. I don't think they've managed to do that yet, so we might have to wait a bit. They're just doing the plaque exchange now. Commodore, I know you know what Gibraltar looks like, but we thought we'd remind you for your desk, uh, a small memento to uh, honor your maiden call. Congratulations. Thank you very, Thank you very much, sir, for coming. Thank Appreciate it. To tour the ship with Amanda is a real treat. She knows all about Cunard Line history and especially about the previous Queen Mary. People's memories of that ship differ very widely because also she was very, she had the different classes, three different classes. So people travelled maybe in steerage or maybe in first class. So their, their experiences of a cruise on board would be very different. Every day, Amanda devotes a part of her time to socializing with the passengers. Sharing a friendly chat, a warm word here and there, is also one of her duties. And she does a wonderful job. Hello, how are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. Yes. Yes. Nice to see you as well. How is it? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so, how are you doing? Very good. Very well. Get out today and have fun. Enjoyed it so much. Yeah. Very much. And Enjoyed everything about it. Hello. How are you? Good. Very good. Everything good? Yes, very good. Very, good. very, good. very, good. very happy. I know, it couldn't be better, could it? It's wonderful. Michelle spends much of her time inspecting the cabins. 
if it was an occupied cabin, I have to leave the door open. I can't have the door closed, okay? But because no one's here, I can close it. And I wouldn't go inside the cupboard if it was occupied. <laughs> Yeah. Been beautiful, yeah. yeah. Good, good. I'm glad you. I'm glad you're having fun. Okay. Yes, Thank, you. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Thank you. Okay. Again, I just check the door frames are not dusty, and I feel the walls because what happens inside the bathrooms, the walls get dusty sometimes, and also when people use hairspray, the spray gets on the wall, and you can feel it's a, It doesn't feel smooth anymore. Time for a break. Amanda walks through King's Court, which caters to passengers who prefer an informal Italian or Asian buffet to the more formal style of the elegant Britannia restaurant. For Olaf, mealtime is no time for a break. Nothing wrong for the moment? No. Everything's fine, but eventually we have a couple of bottles with uh, different vintages, vintages in our cellar, so I have to check if um, the right vintage is actually delivered to, to the uh, dispense bars. Otherwise, maybe the guests will be upset to have another vintage. It's supposed to be. But everything is fine. The library, with its 8,000 volumes, is not the only place on the Queen Mary II where one can get a glimpse of the past and a sense of tradition. The best example is the Queen's Room, the ballroom in which Amanda teaches the delicious art of napkin folding. By folding the napkin in half, and then again in half, into a square. Just give it a little squeeze at the sides here, so you make the base round. And then you can just stand in on the table. There's your bishop's hat. The Commodore makes his entrance into the library. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, a good sign if there's a queue. Oh, yes. <laughs> Profits are up for the library, not me. <laughs> Great. Yeah. 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 This is the officer that watch speaking from the bridge. Yeah. Our new position today was latitude 48 degrees 26 minutes north and longitude 00 as the Queen Mary II departs from Gibraltar, the relaxed atmosphere of an afternoon cruise returns. And as usual, with some gentle music and tea time. Already, get some champagne. In her office, Amanda is already making plans for the evening. So whenever I have time, I come in here and wrap some more gifts. <laughs> this is how I spend my time. It's lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A final run through for the dancers, a last technical check for the photographers, the Queen Mary II prepares for the gala evening. Gala dinners always need particular attention. That's why Olaf gets to the kitchens early to check on his wine orders. <laughs> For the first time today, Michel can stop off at the office. Roger, can you do me a favor? The temperature log hasn't been done for yesterday. So as soon as you get back upstairs, will you sort it out for me? Thank you very much. Bye-bye. I'm going for a very classic wine, Chardonnay, from, yes, from the Chablis region. It's a Chablis Premier Cru, Le Forchon Domaine La Roche, 2002. This is going to be our, 
uh, suggestion, recommendation for today's dinner because we have lobster uh, on the menu and this uh, will match perfectly actually. I'm just on my way to the Queen's room now for the cocktail party. We have uh, a special cocktail party this evening, it's formal night and um, it'll be a very elegant cocktail party, everybody dressed up. Hello, how are you? Nice to see you. <laughs> you look lovely, beautiful, very nice. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So yeah, there there are some two bottles actually from from upstairs. Just check the uh, the numbers. We have so many nationalities on this cruise. Uh, the guests that I was just speaking to are from Greece. They're very nice people. I know them from previous cruises. Sailed together before. Hello. Michelle gets back to work. Her mission this time, inspection of the crew's cabins. How are you, Carlos? Okay, the cabins are very small, so what I just check is that uh, the beds are made, I check their life jackets, basically what I'm checking on the life jacket is that the light is on, that they have a whistle, there should be a whistle inside over there, and that the lock is working. Meanwhile, Olaf briefs the wine stewards. Wines of the day, our recommendations will be presented from uh, Clément Richon. We start with the white wine. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> Good evening, Dream Team. So tonight we have got uh, Chablis, so from Burgundy, mid northeast of France. So it's the first uh, sub region. Everybody knows uh, Chardonnay grapes for 100%. Uh, the vintage is 2002. So this is the first cruise uh, class, and uh, tonight we have got uh, king crabs and also monkfish. So the price of this wine is 38 uh, US dollar. Not so bad, I think it's a reasonable value. And uh, so push it. What I'm also looking for is if they have candles, any, anything that could be a danger, irons, that kind of stuff, because we're not allowed to have those possessions in the cabins, just in case they fall asleep or something like that. <laughs> the passengers arrive for the cocktail party, and Amanda is attending to them. She must be friendly, gracious, but also efficient. This is Commodore Warwick once again. This is from Hamburg, Commodore. Hello. Oh, hi. How are you? Good to see you. Hello there. How are you doing? I Hello, good evening. How are you? Very nice to meet you, sir. I hope you're enjoying your cruise. Everything good? Yes. Where are you from? From Japan. Far away from the social world of the cocktail party, Michelle gets back to her own department. Here she prepares the daily cruise journal for the passengers. Huh? Keep it there, but you can't leave it. I know.
could you explain what you are doing? I will decant the wine right now. It's the Chateau Fijac 96 Saint Emilion. A very nice fine wine. And I decant this bottle to separate the wine from the deposit. What I'm doing over here is I'm going to, there's three different pantries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place all of the different programs for the different pantries in, a, in separate piles. The wine stewards are hard at work. Olaf only interferes in case of emergency. I will check upstairs because upstairs is a very busy station. I have to go there right now. That we give to all the bedroom stewards and that's what I'm going to do. Good evening, gentlemen. Should I serve your wine for you today? Sure. So generally you need to stop whatever you're doing, go downstairs, pick it up, because these need to go out as quickly as possible. Because all the bedroom staff will finish at approximately 9 o'clock. So you always want to try and ensure that you get it up here before that time. Are you sure this doesn't have any print on the inside? So I would say enjoy your dinner. Passenger has just ordered a bottle of Moulin Avant. That's a good sign. There are obviously some wine connoisseurs aboard. Olaf personally goes to the kitchen to retrieve the bottle. Stay cool and don't laugh. Stay cool and laugh. Oh, tomato juice party. Good afternoon, Moulin Avant, please. Moulin Vin for Ursula. Bottle. Yeah, here we go. Grazie. In the Queen's room, the evening, hosted by Amanda and Paul, the cruise director, is just getting underway. We've got the uh, big payout around $500 to the owner. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! <laughs> Whether it's a costume ball or a jazz night, events on Queen Mary 2 always seem to evoke the golden age of ocean liners. Very late that evening, Michelle can call it a day. And what a day it's been. 
when you first begin and they say you work seven days a week, I thought they were joking. But uh, you get used to it and it's, it's fun. You get to see places that I would never ever be able to see generally if I was doing any other job. And uh, you meet incredible people. There's very nice people that work on, on board the ships. The original Queen Mary, they used to have a hat parade uh, and I believe then they used to do it in the theme of a song. So every hat was the title of a song. Now we do it as the Ascot Ball because it's a great way to incorporate it into the Ascot Ball, the Ascot Hat Parade.